Indeed, money is necessary. Let's not even come and lie. It is really necessary. But another thing that is necessary is that you have to watch Hello Nigeria every weekday from 12 to 1.30 because we bring you the best of the best, the cream of the crop. Now, our very fantastic guest we have is a young man who did our music video. His name is Dakbo, and he signed to Extreme Music. He's our guest today, and he's going to tell us some other things that are necessary about his life and about his music. It's good yeah. to have you. Great to have you on the show. Yeah, same here. Thank you, man. Great Thank to have you. So what has it been like under Extreme Music? What has the journey been like so far? Uh, it's, been, it's been crazy for real. Um, a lot of people expecting a lot because we have Praise and See Me under the label. So be like, See Me and Praise are big. So they're like, uh, what does he have to offer? You get but I'm just, I'm just trying to um, stay myself and do my, do my stuff. Does that put you under so much pressure? It's normal. We're human beings you get. So I'm just trying to just keep cool and do my thing. All right. Again. And how would you describe yourself as an artist? What would you say that your genre is? Where's your best fit? Uh, I call it Afrofusion and originality. That's basically what I'm about, you get me? So the Afro, just like fusing all type of genres with, uh, to the African pepe, you get, me? you get what I'm saying? I was about to ask you, do you smile? But you just smile. <laughs> <laughs> African yeah. Let's talk about your life before Extreme Music signed you. Had you been with any record label? Have you been with any record label before? Was it your first? No, I've, this is my first record label. So how was, what were you but doing? Was, how did I you went, get them to notice you? I went for Project Fame, MTV, 2016, yeah, 2016. And uh, it, was, it was crazy. I, I got to the finals. I was number five, fifth. And um, after that, I went on the ground to record a lot of songs and keep recording. And um, I sent a couple of songs to Praise. I was basically disturbing Praise every time to listen to my songs. And by God's grace, it just came around for me like this year, like, like a month ago, two months ago. Now, the Nigerian music industry is extremely competitive. But what would you say is your game plan? Or rather, what's your strategy? How do you plan on becoming that relevant Afrofusion artist in uh, the Nigerian music industry? Uh, well, I'll say I'll just be natural, just do my thing, just be original, and uh, hopefully people appreciate the craft and uh, they'll be cool with it. Okay, that's, that's, that's the game plan for me. If there's one thing I take away from your conversation so far is the fact that you're not just original, you're consistent. So you disturbed <laughs> praise on yeah, you like, took notice Yeah, like of literally you. every time, <clears throat> disturbing him every time. And there was this snippet I put on my Instagram, and I was like, oh, gee, this, this is nice. I like the sound. I'm like, OK, could you just jump on it for me, boss, man? I was like, no problem. Send it to my mail. And uh, that was, boom, just went that way. Man. So what are your plans for 2018? What do you want to achieve for yourself? OK, I just dropped a single, Necessary, and uh, the video is out on YouTube. Uh, so I'm actually planning something in Unilag. Uh, that's my school. Um, planning a are movie. you still in school? Yeah. What I'm are you school, studying? I took a break. Systems engineering. Mm. I took a break because it, you can't, I, I can't actually balance the two. Yeah. So music, how long is the break going to be for? Two years, possibly. Two years. But if I break through into the industry and by God's grace, I will I'll think about what I'll do after that time. Amen. You get me? So um, I'm planning something in school and neighboring institutions in that area too. And um, I drop a couple of singles, like two more singles before the year runs out and two videos and hopefully collab. All right. So now you've mentioned that. You took a break from school. Yeah. How did your parents react? <laughs> My dad is the academician kind of um, dad, you get me? But um, towards a particular time, it was like, okay, this guy, he loves this music thing. And I've been singing since I was seven, performing in church and doing stuff. They actually knew that. But um, towards that time, it was like, okay, after Project Film, was like, okay, this, this guy likes what he's doing, you get me? So... Let's just leave him and let him do it. I actually left the house like um, 2006, like after Project Film, I just left the house. Just went to the studio, just to stay in the studio, sleep in the studio, record, do basically everything mm. music related. Again. Now, what we often find in Nigeria, and it's actually very sad, but it is the truth, is a lot of upcoming artists come into the industry. They may break through with one song, and yeah. that can lead to them blowing, and that's it, they're going to make it. Or a lot of upcoming artists come into the industry, and they just never necessarily make it to the top where they want to get to. Yeah. And the structure of the Nigerian music industry ha definitely has a role to play in yeah. that. But it means that everyone who is upcoming, especially now, has to have a niche. Everyone has to have something that's genuinely going to be their top selling point. Yeah. What would you say is your top selling point? Uh, i just say, as I said earlier, originality and just stay, just being cool. Just you, don't you think that's a bit broad? That's, that's broad. Okay, um... When it comes to my sound, I feel I'm um, I'm versatile. 
to do almost every genre. You get me? So I just feel that's that's the basic the basic thing. <coughs> so. All right. Okay. I, I think I can relate with him in a way. Because mm. when I'm asked the same question, that's like always the same answer I give. I yeah, always tell yeah. people I'm not trying to be like yeah, anybody. anybody yeah. I'm trying to be like myself. I'm trying to get people to know the real me. And if you like me, fine. I'm a, and I'm also making peace with the fact that not everybody will like me. Definitely. And that's totally okay. No. How are you prepared for fame? How well are you prepared <laughs> for fame? Do you understand how fame is going to change your life totally? Yeah, I know. It's after Project Fame, I, I wasn't able to do a couple of things I used to do before. Because before I used to buy a car at one spot in my area. But after Project Fame, I realized that it wasn't possible with him. Because they saw me on TV and like, okay, this guy won money. He won a particular amount of money. So we should get our own share. So I, after that time, I knew, okay, I can't step out as usual again. A lot of people, oh, yeah, that, that's you, Afra. let's take this thing, let's do this. And I'm like, oh. It's not every time you want to accommodate that kind of thing, but still you have to be natural and just be cool. You get, but I just feel I just stay cool and do my thing and hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll get there. And who inspires you? Who are your greatest inspirations in the music industry, both in Nigeria um, and also uh, within the international community? Um, firstly, I would say Praise, because Praise is actually, it was, it was um, my a judge during the season and uh, really inspiring. Um, I have um, David O. Whiskey, Kiss Daniel, uh, Maya Cohen is a big one too. And I don't know when I saw him, I actually saw a bit of Maya Cohen, you know, looking at him, I think you is it a the bit dress? of resemblance. I don't know if it's no, the hair or something. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe it's the <laughs> hair. It's the hair. <laughs> the hair. Um, um, Chris Brown and Bruno Mars, yeah. Okay, now beyond your greatest inspirations or influences, so far in your journey, who are the artists that have supported you the most? Supported, praise. Aside from praise, obviously. <laughs> Aside from praise, at, at a point, David O. At, at a particular point, before Project Fame, David o did some things for me. That's good. Okay, That's good. We, we look forward to seeing that. Now, the kind of music that you do, you've called Afrofusion. Yeah. How do you get inspiration for your songs? And what kind of songs are we expecting you to see? And are we songwriters as well? You? Yeah, I write, I write my songs. Like this song, my first single, I, I wrote it. I wrote my songs. Um, what I would say is um, inspiration well, I a lot comes... Of, a lot, why I'm asking this is... What kind of music, we ex what kind of lyrics we're expecting from you? Right now, a lot of people are singing about bottles and about body parts and all that. You know, and we're, we're seeing people who, who are singing songs that are encouraging an extraordinary, exorbitant lifestyle. And the sexualization, there's so many yes. things, the sexualization of women, uh, materialism. There are so many things that are being encouraged in music and it's having a direct effect on children. So today. are we expecting to see that from you? And it's okay to be very honest. Yeah, relatable and inspiring content. That's what I'm about, really, because my first single necessary is about um, a particular period in my life where I was struggling. I said it at the beginning of the song. And, also telling you guys the money is necessary because it's actually necessary because that period of my life I actually needed money and it's crazy for real man. Okay, yeah. so we sh that means the floor expect, is still yeah, we expect open for you to, to still dive into the kind of lyrics that we have in this day and age. And I just, for now, I'll, I'll just talk about now. For now, man, I'll just relatable, inspiring content. And them. aside from music then, what would you say you're also passionate about? Football. Hmm. Yeah. So who are you supporting for the World Cup? The World Cup, um, I was actually going for rooting for Belgium because yeah, my best player is in there, Hazard. Who? Hazard, oh. yeah. <laughs> but they're out now, so I think Croatia has what it takes. You're not rooting for France? No. I, I have no more words for Who you. Why are you looking for Croatia or France? Well, first of all, England just have to win that third place on Saturday. No, but Belgium, in terms Belgium of is Sunday's match, that, you know. no, 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 no. <laughs> Lots of people I found are not actually supporting France England because they said England win. has too much mouth. It's coming home. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> They'll be shouting, it's coming home. It's I think coming it's home the media that just, that just makes you us think. You know what it is? I right. think people really envy the fact that there's something about British culture that I really appreciate. And in the years that I lived there, I love the fact that British people are literally just so patriotic. Yeah, Do you understand? Like we... Anything that happens in the country and the country comes together. If a bomb has gone off at X, Y, or Z, yeah. the whole country says, you think you can stop us, you're not going to stop yeah, off. If football yeah. is on, everybody is out. Yeah. And Even I love though you're not them. mentioning the fact that when England is about to play, domestic violence rises to 38%. 38%. It's exactly. actually... It's actually higher okay. in some cases. It's actually higher exactly. in some cases, in but cases this is where not they a domestic lose. violence discussion. In this lose. is a football discussion. In cases where they yes. lose, domestic violence increases to about 70%. Yes, that's what I just said. It's actually higher in some cases. Yeah, it's not just 38%. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. so on Sunday, I would definitely say France, though. Okay. Oh, France, so.
Our fingers crossed. I'm rooting for Croatia and you're rooting for Croatia yeah, as definitely. well. We look forward to seeing what the end results are. Thank you so much for joining us. Same How here, can man. people follow you on social media? Um, Instagram, I have Dakwa underscore official. Um, Twitter is the same thing, Dakwa underscore official. I have Facebook, um, Young Don. Then I'm... Um, Snapchat, YouTube? yeah, on this call, MMY4. And how can they see your video on YouTube? Just type that word necessary is there. Brilliant. Oh. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.